Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality, and today I am back with some of the items from Global Land that I'd featured before when I did the unboxing. I'll have a link for that down below. But I wanted to show you how to make a shaker card using one of the die sets. I'll have the link for the die sets down below as well as a coupon code. But I had made this cute little chick and it's using cardstock, some glassine, or not glassine, but clear acetate, and then some scrapbook paper and some confetti or little, I just have this, not sequins, but it's a little mix. I'm not even sure what it's from. I think it's like baby, baby fetti or whatever for a baby shower, but I just used the little hearts that are in there. So it turned out super cute and I wanted to show you how you could do that. And I'm using this die set. It is Easter themed and it comes with this bigger piece here that is an egg shaped and you can make it into a chick or a lamb or a bunny rabbit. So this is, makes the main part of the body. And then today I'm gonna be making a bunny. So I'm using these pieces here. This makes the feet, the little hands and the ears. But I can show you the other pieces if you didn't see them before. These are the pieces for the chick and then there is also this piece that cuts out Happy Easter. And then here are eyes and a little nose with the mouth, with the mouth, and that's what I'm gonna use for the bunny rabbit. And then here's the bunny whiskers, so I'll use those. And then these pieces here are for This is the little beak for the chick, and then these are for the lamb or the sheep. So I won't be using those. And then it also comes with this piece. I think it's to make a box with, with it all if you wanted to. You have a little box to stick goodies in, but I'm not going to use that today. I'm just going to show you how to do the shaker. All right, so let me put this stuff over here and we will go ahead and cut out our pieces. I have some black for the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Sorry, my little, my dog is worried about something outside. <laughs> I have white. That's what I'm gonna do the main for the main body and then pink for the details. And I'm gonna use the same plaid paper that I used in the background of the chick. So I kind of like that. It goes well with the pink, so we're gonna do that. So what you need to do is cut one piece of whatever car colored cardstock you're using for, in my case, I'm gonna do white and that's for the back. And then I cut four of this piece out, three to make it thick, and then the fourth piece goes on the very top over the clear acetate. So let's go ahead and do that. I need to cut my paper down to six inches so it'll fit into my Sizzix Big Shot. So I'll do the first one with both. These dies do a really good job of cutting through cardstock. I've even used thicker cardstock, and usually I just go through once 
it works going through once or if you want to go in and back it works well that way as well so here's the back piece so that I'll put that off to the side and then I have my top piece and now I just need to cut out three more of the frame part so find my piece I cut off here so I'm just going to lay this over the top and do two more piece of paper out. Yeah, this won't be wide enough. I haven't figured out what to use. I mean, obviously you could just decorate that for an Easter egg, but you could use that for something. Oh, see, this will have to be an inner piece because it cut out. It I didn't have it moved all the way over, but that's okay. All right, let me get more paper here. I grabbed a little push or like a little pin here to push it out a little bit easier. Kind of stuck in there. There we go. Now, I think three will be a good thickness. I have those pieces and then I have the white I still need to I'm gonna go ahead and cut out all of this the ears the feet and the hands I am going to cut those inner pieces with the pink as well but since they're so tiny I'm opting to leave those pieces together and that attached so out. These are pretty easy to pop out because they have a wider. The only ones I need to use a pin on is the inner parts of the paws. Alright, 
think I may want to go ahead and punch, take these apart because it's punching the holes in there. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see if it did it on that as well. Well, it made the, yeah, it did punch that hole. So yeah, I'm going to, I wanted to leave these together, but I'm going to have to pull them apart. At least this part out, take that part out and these parts because these little connectors here are cutting holes when I put it through. <laughs> so this one's fine, but I think I just need to take the inner parts out. All right, I took those pieces off and actually this is better because then when I cut the other pieces out, I'll have a solid area to glue those details down. So I'm just going to run my white through here. I want to get for my Sizzix is the magnetic platform. Have you, any of you ever used that before? It keeps the dies down, I guess, so they don't, your paper doesn't slide around, but you can use washi tape. I've done that before as well. So here are all my, my ears, my feet, and my little paws those down back here and then the pink parts I'll cut those out pink stayed in the kind of stayed in the paper which kind of helps it I'm gonna just pick it off like that and leave it in the die so it, it's just easier when I go to pull it out to glue it down as opposed to having all the little tiny pieces everywhere all right let's see the last thing I would need to do is use the bigger egg piece. Oh, I also need to do the eyes and the whiskers and mouth, but I'm going to use my acetate and cut this big piece out with the acetate. And I just need to cut a little piece off here. Just a second. Here we go. I also need to cut the big patterned piece off as well with the big egg. Oh, that makes a lot of noise. It's just with the acetate, it does that. All right, so I have that. You can see that egg shaped acetate piece, and then I'll go ahead and cut my patterned paper. Just cut a piece off here. Oops. It's kind of hard to use this when you don't have it down flat. I don't recommend. All right. That 
there. black just need to cut a piece off of this So it's just the eyeballs and the little nose and the whiskers. Nose with the mouth and then the whiskers. Just stick that down there. These small pieces are great to use for any scraps that you have of your paper. I like to do that. After I'm using big pieces, if I have some scraps of paper, I'll go ahead and die cut like tags and journaling cards and things like that, if it's small enough. All right, let's get this out of the way here and we will make our tag, our shaker. Okay, I got every here it is that piece <laughs> sorry about that guys all right I'm gonna start with gluing my pattern paper onto the base of white and I'm doing that because this is thin and I want my card to be sturdy and I also I picked the color that I would want on the back, even though this already has white, I still want it to be sturdy. So I'm just gonna use some tacky glue, and you can use whatever liquid glue you're most comfortable with, but I like using tacky glue. Just gonna glue that on there. And if you're worried about pieces wrinkling, tacky glue is pretty thick, and I find that it it doesn't wrinkle up too much because it's not very it doesn't have as much water as a lot of liquid glues have in them. But you can always put thing your pieces underneath really heavy books until they dry flat. I've done that with bigger pieces. This isn't going to be a big deal. So now I'm going to take my three of my pieces and glue those down onto this piece. So I'll just put some glue down and just start layering them. Do one. I know one of these, this one I didn't, didn't quite cut all the way, so I'm going to put that in the middle. So you can't really tell, but this just is adding a thickness. You could also use like white foam to do your in-between layer. But this is just if you want to use all cardstock and you just want to make it, you know, you need to add like three layers to make it thick enough so that your glitter or sequins or whatever it is you're putting in your shaker will actually shake. All right, then I'll add my third piece here. Now 
Now you'll want to let this dry before you move on because when you put your sequins in and this isn't dry, they might like go off and stick to the glue if it's not dry. So I think that's thick enough for what I'm going to be using. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I, when I made this one, this was a thicker cardstock, and I used three layers in between the back and the front. This is a thinner, just regular, you know, inexpensive white cardstock, so it's not quite as thick, but I think it'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> For the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and add my sequins, but I'm going to try and keep them in in the middle so until everything dries so they won't stick to the glue. Now this, you can add sequins. This is just like that funfetti that you scatter, I guess they call it scatter I'm not sure it's it's for like parties and you can scatter it on the table but I thought it's perfect for Easter because it has pink purple yellow lavender or I said that already purple blue and like an iridescent you can add glitter you can add seed beads if it's thick enough like the if you have if your height is thick enough but I'm going to put that many in there. And then now what we want to do is take your acetate and your last frame and you're going to glue the frame to the acetate. And this is the part that gets hard because it's so easy to mess up. All right, I was saying it's really easy to get the liquid glue on your acetate and mess it up. And then it's a little difficult to get it cleaned up after you've gotten it stuck down. So I'm just trying to be careful here. Because it seems like I always get the liquid glue. See, there's some right there. <laughs> And I just wiped it off. So that's okay. I will clean it off in a bit here. Let's see if I can get it there. Well, no, now I've got it. <laughs> it just, yeah. I'm just going to have to rub it off. It will come off because it's water-based glue. Okay, now we just need to put glue around the edge here and put it down on top of there. All right, go right down there. Kind of squeezed out there a little bit, but it'll be it'll be fine. It'll dry clear and it'll be fine. Okay, I'm not going to move it anymore. Now we're going to add our pieces. First, I kind of added this pink back here so it'll be easier for you to see. But we'll put our pieces on our ears. So that one goes there. I forgot to bring them over here. And this one goes there. So 
go ahead and glue those down. Hopefully you guys are all having a nice winter or early spring. Right now it's today it was 72 degrees here and I'm in Ohio and it's February or March 4th. Yeah. Which is crazy. Early spring. I have a bunch of bulbs that I planted in our front yard in our landscape and they're already growing, coming up. They haven't flowered yet, but I did see some purple crocus, I think is what they are, in a neighbor's yard already up and flowering. So that's crazy. All right, put those down and then I'll put the little pieces of the feet Just gonna put some glue right down here. And then like a little dot in each little foot there. Cause these are gonna be tiny. I could almost use some tweezers. They're so tiny. I need my pen. Go ahead and put that down. Actually gonna use my straight pen to move this around. There we go. Oh, these pieces are really tiny. I really do need some tweezers. Ah. There we go. Okay. That, and then that piece off. That one's a little bigger. There, that's cute. Okay, we'll do the same with the other foot. Put some glue down. Leave a comment down below what you are working on right now. If you started Easter, I would assume so because it's almost Easter. But yeah, it's crazy that it's always crazy when Easter is in March. I don't know why it's crazy. It just seems like it's so early. But I haven't started any Easter journals, but I did... I do have supplies. If you didn't see my other hauls, I'll link link those down below for you. I just haven't had time to start them, but I have I did do these two shakers. That's what I've done and I've been working on Hello Kitty and Candyland because I had started those and never finished them and so I was just trying to get those done. All right, we've got those glued. Now, what I wanna do is I'll go ahead and glue my ears 
and I'll put those, I'll glue them on the back. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue along the bottom of the ear here. And hopefully this is dry enough and then just like that. And then I'll put glue on this one. Now if you didn't want your bunny to have a flopped ear like that, you could just cut out two of the straight ones. It's just up to you. I just think it's really cute with the one flopped ear. You could also stick the ears in between your layers, but I'm just putting them on the back here. Or you could stick them and put another backing piece on. I should have done that, but that's okay. It'll be fine. And then I'll stick my feet on. Those will just kind of go along the frame on the bottom. Let's see, just put a little bit of glue in the middle of the foot. This. Very hard to pick them up. <laughs> there we go. Now I'll put my paws on. Oh, this is turning out really cute. Now something you can use this, uh, if you want to just take like a white paper sack and stick this on the side of the bag and then you can put treats in it or you can just use this on a page as a pocket glue it part of the way down and then tuck things behind it or you can just stick this in a card and write on the back for an Easter like an Easter card lots of things all right I just think they're fun. But I'll use them to go inside of a journal to, to put in a pocket or paper clip to a page or something like that. Okay, the only thing left is the eyes and the whiskers and the little mouth and nose piece. I just need to pop this out here. This piece does not have a hole, like the whisker part does not have a hole to pop it out. So you just kind of have to get it with. Hmm, there we go. Just have to push it out. All right. I'm going to put the eyes and the nose on and then put the whiskers on. I left, I had these two little round pieces from when I punched the white feet out. So I'm using these to go behind the eye because the eye does, it does put a little tiny hole for the highlight of the eye, if you can see that. So it's just easier to stick that behind it. Otherwise you would have to just cut a tiny little piece of paper. So you'll have, so your eye isn't hollow. <laughs> All right, and let's see. Let's just glue that down. My glue bottle's getting low here, so I have to keep shaking it down. go and see. 
almost done here guys and I think it's turning out really cute be sure to come back because I'll have one more video in this series of Easter embellishments and I'll be making the little tag pocket thing that I showed you before in my previous video when I did the unboxing all right there's the eyes stick the nose piece on so cute all right and then the last thing is the whiskers Needs a tiny bit of glue like that. I should have put these down a little bit. Well, I can. I guess they're not completely dry, so smooth that down a tad bit. Oops, I moved. All right. I guess I didn't need glue all the way at the end, but that'll dry. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. It's so adorable. Little shaker. All right. Okay, guys. So here's the other one that I made. I think they're really cute. I'll put a picture up here what it looks like when you make the little lamb um, from the Global Land website. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe. Come back the next time and I'll show you how to make the tag pocket that I made, that I showed in the previous video. And check out globalland.com. I'll have the coupon code down below as well as all the links for the items that I, that I showed you last time and that I used on this little shaker. So yeah, thank you for coming over to my channel if you're new. Welcome. Hopefully you will subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Creative Crafticality. I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.